Hi. Let's learn about Internet Service Providers, ISPs. An Internet Service Provider is a company that provides access to the Internet to both personal and business customers. ISPs make it possible for their customers to surf the web, shop online, and connect with family and friends, all for a fee. They can also provide email services, domain registration, web hosting, and browser packages. ISPs may go by different names that reflect the services they offer, like Information Service Provider, Storage Service Provider, or Internet Network Service Provider. Internet Service Providers, or ISPs, were originally developed to provide access to the general public through the World Wide Web in the late 1980s. The number of ISPs increased to several thousand during the mid-1990s, and the Internet economy was born. Behind all this is a multi-layered web of connections. ISPs provide their customers access to the Internet, plain access providers just handle the traffic between the individual and the Internet as a whole. Some other services that may be included depending on the customer's location and availability. Tier 1 ISPs provide connectivity at high speed and appear like a monopoly in their regions due to the high cost of investment. Current Tier 1 ISPs continue to invest in infrastructure to provide faster speeds and an improved internet experience. Some of the biggest ISPs have begun investing heavily in 5G wireless technology to meet the ongoing demand for faster speeds. Companies like Starlink, an entity inside SpaceX, are also developing low-latency, broadband internet systems enabled by a constellation of low-Earth orbit satellites. Google Fiber, an ambitious project to lay a new network of fiber across the U.S., represented an attempt to enter the Tier 1 ISP market. It has been available in a limited number of cities, with its first expansion in four years announced in West Des Moines, Iowa. However, whether this represents an overall trend that will see Google Fiber in more regions across the U.S. remains to be seen. Some of the largest ISPs are also large telecommunications companies like AT&T and Verizon Communications that provide a wide array of services in addition to data and broadband internet services. Additionally, ISPs offer programs to help low-income families and seniors handle the cost of internet services, and the federal government opened an emergency broadband benefit program to provide help to families to get these services. No, an ISP provides access to the Internet often through cable, digital subscriber line, fiber, or satellite connections, while Wi-Fi providers allow you to access the Internet through a wireless connection. With Wi-Fi technology, a modem delivers Internet service and a wireless router connects to the modem. The two main types of ISPs are cable or DSL, but other types exist, often in more remote locations. Cable connections are used by multiple neighbors, which can affect the cable access speed. Telephone service providers offer DSL connections, which connect a DSL router to a phone jack or phone cable. Here are five key takeaways. 1. An Internet Service Provider, ISP, is a company that provides web access to businesses and consumers. 2. ISPs may also provide other services such as email services, domain registration, web hosting, and browser services. 3. An ISP is considered to be an information service provider, storage service provider, internet network service provider, NSP, or a mix of all of them. 4. Internet use has evolved from only those with university or government accounts having access to nearly everyone having access, whether it's paid or free. 5. Access has gone from dial-up connections to high-speed broadband technology. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.